Welcome Brainers! Windows users often wish to install Linux without disrupting their existing operating system and files. In this video, I'll show you the simplest method to set up a dual boot on your Windows PC with Ubuntu Linux. First things first, you'll need a USB pen drive to create Ubuntu installation media and unallocated or free space on your computer for the Ubuntu installation. Please download the latest Ubuntu ISO file from the link provided in the description. I highly recommend selecting the long-term support or LTS version available on this page. Next, you should download Rufus using the link provided in the description. Rufus is a free and open-source utility used to create bootable USB pen drives. The ISO file download may take some time, so please be patient while it downloads. Alright, I now have both of these files that we've just downloaded. Double-click on the Rufus executable file. Please ensure that your pen drive is selected correctly. Also, be aware that all data on the pen drive will be deleted, so if there's anything important stored on it, make sure to back it up before proceeding. Next, select the Ubuntu ISO file that we downloaded earlier. You can leave the other options as default. Once you're ready, click on the Start button. Please select ISO mode as recommended. If prompted, click Yes to download any additional required files. This is the final notice reminding you that all data on the pen drive will be erased. Click OK to proceed. Please wait for the process to complete. Once done, you should get the status as ready. Next, many of the PCs may not allow booting into other operating systems, to address this we should disable Secure Boot. First, let's check the status of Secure Boot. Search and open System Information. In my case, Secure Boot is already turned off. However, if you see it's on, you'll need to access your BIOS settings. To enter the BIOS, you can use the BIOS keys if you know them. Alternatively, you can restart your PC a little differently than usual. Simply restart your PC, but hold down the Shift key while selecting Restart. You'll then land on the Windows Recovery screen. From here, choose Troubleshoot and then UEFI Firmware Settings and Restart. This should take you to your BIOS settings. Keep in mind that the appearance of this screen may vary depending on your PC. Navigate through the options to find Secure Boot and disable it accordingly. Save and exit, and log in back to Windows. Let's now create unallocated space for installing Ubuntu. Right-click on the Start button and select Disk Management. Check if you have at least 25 GB of unallocated space on any of your disks. If you already have it, great, no further action is needed in the Disk Management utility. If you don't have unallocated space, choose one of your partitions with free space, right-click on it, and select Shrink Volume. Enter the amount of space you want to allocate for Ubuntu. You can approximate the size by multiplying by 1000 to convert MB to GB. For example, for 30 GB, input 30,000 MB. Once you're ready, click on Shrink. We're all set to begin the Ubuntu installation process. Simply restart your PC, but remember to hold down the Shift key while selecting Restart. Once you reach the recovery screen, please select Use a device and choose your USB pen drive. On this screen, please use the up and down arrow keys to navigate to try or install Ubuntu and select the same with the Enter key. Try Ubuntu allows you to briefly explore the OS without installing it on your PC. However, for our purpose, we should choose Install Ubuntu. Next, select your keyboard layout and proceed. You can customize these options according to your preferences, or you can follow along with the settings displayed on my screen. At this stage, Install Ubuntu alongside Windows Boot Manager is the ideal selection for setting up dual boot. Click on Install Now. Ubuntu will automatically detect the unallocated space we created earlier and install Ubuntu onto it. 
Additionally, it'll adjust the boot configuration to provide options for switching between these two operating systems every time you boot. Subsequent screens are pretty much self-explanatory. Please select your location. Set up your username and password as required. Once you're ready, click on Continue. We're almost done, we just need to wait for the installation process to complete. Your patience is highly appreciated here. After successful installation, you'll see a screen that says Installation Complete. Please go ahead and select Restart Now. On this screen, remove your USB drive and press Enter. This'll now restart your PC. Please place your finger on the down arrow key and wait for the OS prompt. Once you see this, use the up and down arrows to choose your preferred operating system. Let's try Ubuntu first. Just zip through these initial setup prompts. Great, my Ubuntu is working fine just as I expected. Now, let's try restarting. Once again, be ready to press the down arrow key as soon as you see the screen. This time let's select Windows Boot Manager. Excellent, my Windows is also working perfectly, and all my existing files and apps are intact. I trust this works for you as well. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and hit that subscribe button to see our videos at the top of your searches. Thanks for watching.